Hi, you're watching On The Mark with Mark. Today, we're looking at the grill of my Corvette and what I did with it. I didn't really notice until I bought this center section for the car. Now, if you've got a 73 and you live in a state that requires a front license plate, you didn't even get a center section to your grill. So that's how my car was, but I really wanted this part here and get rid of that stupid license plate. So when I finally found one at a swap meet and I put it on, the fit was terrible. It was, it was way too high at the front. I'll, I'll show some closer pictures of it. And it didn't seem to line up with the blades of the other parts of the grill. So it really forced me to look close at it. And when I did, I got to noticing this side didn't fit very well either. I just never really looked at it close. So I decided I'm gonna have to go over this thing and see what I can do to make this look like a decent fit. There you can see how bad it is. And if you look at it from down below, look at that. It's terrible. And if you follow down the blades here from this part of the grill and then jump over this and get to this, they're they're not on the same plane. And this one was sunken in real far. See that? So it was just terrible. Okay, so I took the grill off of the car, and what I found out, and, and I knew this when I bought the car, is that this car came with the uh, fiberglass nose on it. The guy that had it before me put that on it. So my mounting points, I can see them back there. There's still the brackets back there for the grill, but this grill was actually mounted to the fiberglass. And it has these little clips on it. I, I think they're called Tinnerman clips. They act like a nut. They're clipped on there. When I had the grill off, I took the turn signal lens off because the blades on the turn signal lens also didn't line up very well on the grill. And I thought, I can fix that. So all it took was a one washer on one side. And then for me, the, the hole is a little bit bigger than what you really need and I was able to line it up and get those blades to line up real real close and then of course I get to looking at those blades and the way these um, turn signals come the whole front of it is just clear plastic so I thought I can do better than that so I taped this all off and I painted the bottom side black and then I also painted the top edge of the blade black now they're getting kind of dusty now and then I took some silver paint and I painted the very leading edge. This is a 73 Corvette. And in 73, it's an only year feature. Um, the leading edge of the grill is chrome plated and the rest of it's black. In 74, they did away with that chrome and it's just all black. So if you have a 74, your job's a little bit easier. But that was, that was quite a detail, you know, that the factory's never gonna do. And uh, what it does is when you're standing above the car, the bumper would be covering this one, and I'll show you this later. The turn signal disappears into the grill at certain angles, and I thought that was really cool. Okay, so now I mounted that in the grill and had it lined up nice and neat, but I needed to know what kind of spacer I was going to put in here. So, you know, I, how big a spacer? So this might seem a little bit silly, but uh, I bought some silly putty. And uh, I've had it in my pocket for a while now, so it's had a time to, mo or, uh, to soften up a little bit. And uh, I took some Silly Putty, and, and this side I thought looked pretty good. And uh, I attacked this a little bit at a time is what I did. And uh, I'll show you again when I do the center section of the grill, because it was the worst fit. So what I did is I stuck some Silly Putty on there, a good amount. And then I grabbed the grill 
Then I took the grill and I put it up. How does that go on? In here and then over here. Okay, and I pushed it in there. Okay, I can tell that's touching. And then give it a little push there till I get a decent gap all the way around. Okay, oh, no, need a little more. Now, I've got this front edge nice and parallel with the bumper. And the bottom's coming in pretty decent too. So let's take a look and see what we ended up with. So then, pull off this piece of silly putty and uh, I'm gonna get a measurement off of this. Okay. Looks like 0.33. All right. So what this is doing is really it's just getting me in the ballpark. So then I had this little tube here, and I cut that to 0.33. So it's the same length as that piece. Okay, here's mounting the grill, and all it needed was one thin washer on this bottom, on this this post right here, and what you call that, the inside post, and then I'll put this on this way, and this one was okay up here without a spacer. All right, now you can see it's not lined up exactly right. So I'm going to loosen that up again. And then I'm just going to push it into the right position until I see it's lined up good. And that's just taking up the slop in the tolerance of the screw there. And then uh, tighten her down. Still looks good. Give that a little bit. Okay, so now, if you look down here, you can see I've got the blades nice and lined up. And then, if you look at it from down here, you can see how I have that black on there. If it wasn't for that gap, and I'm telling you, that gap does bother me a little bit. I wonder if I could slide that over. I sure can. Okay, I slid the turn signal lens over as far as I could get it. And we're lined up good there. And okay, that's good, but nobody's going to lay on the ground and look up at the car, but I still had to do that little detail. But what's really neat is as you walk up to the car, if you get close, a turn signal disappears, especially if you're looking at it. At an angle it'll show up better um, when I uh, when I get it on the car you'll see okay I've got this grill on now and if you look close you'll see I got a nice fit along the bottom about as close as the fiberglass will allow maybe I could have gone a little deeper but you can see things that are not There's, I'm gonna assume the grill is straight this fiberglass has got a little bit of a bow in it, and I thought this was a decent compromise. Um, another thing I didn't uh, show you was, while I had this out, I taped off the edge of my yellow paint, and I painted things black back in there, behind there, so that nothing would show up back there. Also, don't forget to hook up your, uh, your turn signal light. Get it plugged in again, like I see I'm forgetting right now. Now that's in. Okay, now we're going to look at the 
center section. And I hope that's showing up decent on camera there. It's kind of hard for me to tell, but it is a terrible fit without some kind of shimming happening there. So let me get that taken apart and then we'll have a look at that. Okay, so I have the grill out now, and you can see the mounting points right here, 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 and here. And what I had to do, because this is a fiberglass bumper, is I had to get in here with my Dremel tool and flatten things out so that I had a, a nice, uh, secure surface to push up against. So then uh, we're back to working the silly putty here. I can tell before I started that I'm going to need some pretty major spacers on here. So I'm putting a pretty good size square on each one. Look at that. It looks like a piece of chewing gum. I suppose that would work. Here's my other one. Nice and warm. I've had these in my pocket for a couple of hours now before I started this. So the stuff is nice and pliable here. Okay, we're going to make a square here and push it on there. Trying to make sort of like a cube out of it. Okay, all right. Now, okay, now without the screws in it, I'm going to come in. And it's a funny thing with this grill. How they did it in 73 was, if you look, this piece doesn't have the top row. To it. I don't know why they did that, but that's that's the way it is. I don't know if you can tell that or not. So I'm mostly trying to line up along the bottom, and it's the second blade onto the top blade of the center piece. So I'm just going to push it in here. Okay, nice and low, and I'm siding down the sides here, and I'm just going to, nope, nope. Back up, okay. I'll come in here nice and low and push it in. Oh, the top needs to go in. The bottom come down. Okay. All right, that's not good. All right, I'm gonna take another shot at it. This needed to be out way farther than that. I'm gonna stick this in this way. And this one in this way also. Come on, stay on there. There we go. You stay there. Okay. I'm going to try it again. Okay, because this has got to be out quite a ways. So it's like... Okay, that one came off with it. That's actually helpful. All right, now I'm going to measure these things. Okay, there's nothing like measuring silly putty, but you can see what I'm doing there. Okay, this one is 375. Okay, and it helps to write this down.
Okay, now here, here's the spacer that I made. This is a piece of uh, uh, HDPE, high density polyethylene. Um, you could use anything, um, like I used that uh, piece of tubing on the side grill. This is just what I happened to have laying around the shop that I knew that I could cut to a certain length accurately. Um, you could use a piece of aluminum. Um, you could use a piece of wood. Probably wouldn't recommend it. But anyway, see how it uh, it fits right right onto there. That's how I did that. So I've got four of them, and uh, I've labeled them all carefully so I know which one goes in which place because all four of them were different lengths. And uh, then what I'm going to do is I'm going to put these on, and that is going to be the ballpark fix. And then I'll sit back and look at it and see if it looks right. And if I have to make another one, maybe a sixteenth of an inch longer, or maybe trim one down a little bit, then I'll do that. But this gets me 90% of the way. So I think you get the idea. Okay, this is quite the balancing act. I've got one of those blocks on the back side of each of these screws here. And I'm going to try to get all these screws started here. So I may have to uh, edit the audio here if, uh, if profanity happens. One. Two. Okay, well that went easier than I thought it would. All right. I think I need to do maybe a little more fettling on this, but uh, if you take a good look here, let's, uh, let's get an aerial shot of it here. See, there's the grill, and there's the turn signal, all lined up nice and neat. And then if you're standing in front of the car, look at that, just about disappears. And then there's the center section of the grill over there, lined up decent. And as you look down the side, there you can see right to the next one. I think that's a better look than what it was from the factory. I like the grill being right out at the very front edge. I know they didn't do it that way, and it's probably because of the uh, five mile per hour bumper, but uh, you know, that's all gone behind there anyway. It's just fiberglass nose, so if uh, I hit something, there's going to be a lot of damage anyway. So that's uh, it for the grill of my Corvette. This is a 73 Corvette, if I hadn't already said that. and. Uh, I, I had posted the way this looked on a Facebook website one time and I got a lot of people asking me how did you do that and it's kind of a complicated thing to try to explain in a text so I know it's taken me a while but I decided to finally make uh, one of my YouTube videos out of this. I hope you have good luck with it if you decide to do this with your Corvette. I think you'll be really happy with it. After you get yours done and then you start seeing other people's cars the way the grills are all janky on them. It, it just it stands out like a sore thumb. You can't believe that people uh, will tolerate it. So take a look at your grill. I saw one at uh, one of these brokers that was selling Corvettes and it was a 73, it was a 454 car and they were asking $40,000 for it. 
and I looked at the grill and it was it was just terrible and I was like really forty thousand dollars you can't fix that stuff up and get a good fit on it so I know my car's not worth forty thousand dollars I wish it was maybe someday um, but my grill fits good so I got that okay thanks for watching my video good luck with your project um, if you have any other questions, uh, hit me in the comments. I'll try to uh, make other, I'll, I'll try to reply to you and help you any way that I can. Uh, my car's been up on this lift for over a year now, so I got a bunch of projects going on with it. So I'll probably bring some more videos to my channel, uh, taking care of the things that I've done on the Corvette. So that's it. You're watching On the Mark with Mark, working on his Corvette. Isn't that beautiful?